Evening, my poops. Hey, 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 what's up? I'm usually on here for something silly. Driving in my car. You know, that stuff. I usually not on the couch talking unless, um, you know, I was doing my surgery recovery. But this evening, people, I want to talk to you about, you know what? First of all, let me get to this. This topic of this evening is look at God. Look at God. Justice has been served in the honor of Mr. George Floyd. Justice has been served. You know, on May 25th, last year, 2020, George Floyd's life was taken from him in front of the whole entire world. Um, the video was floating all over YouTube. It was floating all over the, the it, all over the internet, everywhere, for release. I'm gonna say two or three weeks before I release. Really, really looked at the video. Um, I did not want to look at the video because because they said it was graphic, and some people were really kind of making jokes about the I can't breathe part. You know, some people's like it's a shame. People start talking about the shame how he was killed on national TV. So I took a chance one night. And I watched the video. I watched the video. And that video brought me to tears. Honestly, the tears. I cannot believe another human would do that to another human. And Shavit had did to George. For nine minutes and 30 seconds, that officer held his knee to the back of his neck like that while he was on the ground, concrete ground, screaming, begging, urinating for his life, calling out for his deceased mother. What kind of other, that's not even a human that would do that. It's not even a human or even, that's not even a normal, I don't It's not even, that's a child of Satan that would do something like that. It's hurtful. It's unbelievable. How? I mean, how can he just sit there, his hands on his hip, looking at the camera as if he didn't give a fuck in the world? As that man laid on that ground, begging for his life. Begging. He, he didn't, he asked, he pleaded, and at the end he begged for his life. And you still sat there. I'm responsible. It's ugly. It's very, very ugly. Very shameful and hurtful. And today, you all, justice. Justice was served. I don't know how much time he's going to get. Or if he's going to do the time. He might commit suicide in jail and I ain't make the time. Or someone might end up really killing him. But in the eyes of God, he has to deal with that factor with the Lord because what he did to George hurtful excuse me disgraceful sad if I was his parents I wouldn't want to claim him out of his brother or sister relative I wouldn't even want to claim Chauvin Derek Chauvin he's going straight to hell he's a monster I just sit over here and talk about Trump being a monster Trump looked like an angel convert to Chauvin. Trump looked like a complete angel convert to Chauvin. And with someone to tell you over and over again, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Isn't that enough to make you stop? Isn't it enough? I don't understand. If I'm telling any of you out here watching here in this YouTube that I can't physically breathe. You're, when you start to see why or, or what's going on. No, he didn't. He deliberately sit there and killed that man because if he didn't, he would have stopped and checked on him to see why he couldn't breathe. He didn't care. He kept his knee there because he knew intentionally wherever it was in the spot here would choke him out and kill him. And then he's going to pay the price for it. He's going to pay that goddamn price for it all the way. I feel sorry for him and the jail. 
I feel sorry for him in life because when he meet the man up there, he actually not gonna make the man up there because he didn't come from that man up there. He came from hell, and that's where he's going straight back to. He came from hell, and he's going straight back to hell. But today, today's my mom's birthday, though. Happy birthday, mom! Justice was served on your birthday, and you all, in the honor of Mr. George Floyd. Um, I like to give a, a, a moment of silence for that entire 9 minutes and 30 seconds. I know my house will not be entirely silenced because my dishwasher is running right now. And hopefully my phone doesn't ring or anything else. But for that 9 minutes and 30 seconds, I'm going to tell Google to set the timer for 9 minutes and 30 seconds. I want you all, YouTube, to be with me for that entire nine minutes and 30 seconds of silence in the honor of Mr. George Floyd. Okay, I'm setting the timer now. Hey, Google, set the timer for nine minutes and 30 seconds, please. All right, nine minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. Our time of silence begins now for George Floyd.
And I know this is a moment of silence. But I just want to know how many of you are still taking this moment of silence with me. This 9 minutes and 30 seconds is a very long time. I don't even know how much longer we got on the timer. I may ask Google. But can you imagine George Floyd down his knee? That man knee, chopping the asshole knee on his back. The entire 9 minutes and 30 seconds. I'm going to ask Google right now how much longer it's on the timer. I know we're doing a moment of silence. I'm going to ask. Hey Google, how much time is left on the timer? You've got 2 minutes and 38 seconds remaining. Okay, everybody. You have two minutes left to be down. And doing this moment of silence with George. Hey Google, stop. Thank you all for taking or participating in this moment of silence with me for George Floyd. Sorry for the tears. Um, as you can tell, that was a very long nine minutes and 30 seconds. I mean, I know it wasn't a complete silence because my dishwasher was running in the background. But at the same time, I have rheumatoid arthritis. I put myself in the most, in the most uncomfortable position I could down and I could feel the pain I could feel the pain. Just moving to the right. Imagine having a grown man's foot, knee, in the back of my neck on the ground in position. I'd ask Google how much longer I'm left on the timer, and they said two minutes. That was still a very long time. A very, very long time. But I thank you all for participating in that nine minutes and 30 seconds with me. I appreciate you all for listening to my videos. I know that some of them are kind of silly. Um, like, share, subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. I do my best to give you all quality videos. Cause like I said, I'm new to this, but I give my best. But today was a little bit serious. Even though it's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Mom Dukes. And Justice was served for Florence. But I just need to get him that 9 minutes and 30 seconds. 
of silence for that pain he felt and I felt that pain. I don't know if any of you all felt that pain in your body, your shoulders, your neck while I was bending down and quiet. That was a long nine minutes and 29 seconds. That was very long. We like 10 minutes. Everybody said 10 minutes is not that long. 10 minutes is long. Look how long it was quiet. It was 10 minutes. Look at how long. Look how long it was. I'm telling you. But y'all, thanks for watching. I'm sorry, material stuff like that really bothers me. I I, I am a person that believes in equal humanity humanity for everybody. I don't like any wrong. I like equal quality. I like happiness with everybody in the world. When stuff like that happens, it really rips my heart out. It really destroys me. It hurts, it hurts me a lot. That hurt me. I can imagine my child down there. I have one son. I can imagine my one son down there. He did that to him. I probably would be in jail right now for hunting him down and doing what he did to my son. But anyway, rest in peace, Mr. George Floyd. Like, share, subscribe to the rest of you. And I'll be talking to you soon. Peace. Love you guys. Thanks for watching.